emergencies are on the rise. That's according to a new report from local authorities. Rochester Police Department and the Olmsted County Sheriff's Office responded to more than 2,200 crisis calls last year. Their work continues in an effort to turn those numbers around. Our Darian Letty joins us now live to tell us about this crisis intervention training today. Darian, what does the training entail? Yeah, so both deputies and officers with Rochester Police and the Olmsted County Sheriff's Office have been training all of this week to learn how to recognize when somebody is having a mental health crisis and how to address that problem and help work them through it and get them the resources that they need. After they had those lectures, they then went into role playing scenarios to play out those actual situations on how to defuse a situation when someone is in a mental health crisis. We need to move off the bridge, and I'm just being honest with you. I'm not playing any games. I'd like to try to get you some help, some of the stuff we're talking about here. Well, some help? What does that mean? This is what crisis intervention training looks like for local law enforcement. This is not, I told you this is not a spatula. Around 70% of Rochester Police Department officers and Olmsted County Sheriff's Office deputies and detention deputies have taken this training. Putting things into practice, using techniques, seeing what works and developing their own style and really getting in touch with, you know, connecting with another individual one on one. Law enforcement is partnering with Crisis Actors of Minnesota to put on interactive role play scenarios. We do a lot of research and then, um, you know, we have some background information and we're sort of fleshing out that story. Investigating these guys, it shouldn't be like hassling an individual like me, it's just like hey, Frankie. trying to be a Frankie. Yeah. Officers say crisis intervention isn't about saying the right thing, but listening the right way. People need to be heard, they need to understand that what they're going through is important. Um, that they have validation, they have value. Law enforcement officials have helped train other organizations like medical professionals and priests on crisis intervention. I can agree on that. That's why I'm here. Maybe can I assist you in finding a spot to get some rest? Crisis is so common. It, it has such a wide range. Um, and you can encounter those people like on a daily basis in a variety of ways. This training is put on by both Rochester Police Department and Olmsted County Sheriff's Office and trained and experienced deputies and officers actually train the other individuals who are taking this training. It's one of the only self-sustaining within its department's training in Minnesota. Live in Rochester, Darian Letty, KHDC News.